Are your enemies recommending you to this nail text? This is out of control. I went to the nail salon to get my nails up to feel better. Are these nail techs your enemies? <laughs> Today's video is all about nail horror stories that my girlies are out here experiencing. Trust and believe these stories are, I mean, mind blowing and really sad to look at. I decided to wear this Ankara gown. I just felt like it will give a good vibe in this video hopefully that's what it is but yes let's get right into this come with me to the worst nail experience i've ever fucking had so i did check the reviews before i came and they had 4.3 stars and quite a good review so as soon as i sat down i looked to my left and i see these nasty ass buffers these are supposed to be disposed after each client and the nail file but they were all dirty then she takes the cuticle pusher and dips it in the water to clean off. Disgusting. Same thing with this. Disgusting. This is so self-explanatory to why I stopped getting wet Mom, pedicures, especially I mean, you from can the salon. Just stand up and leave. Rinsing off instruments and the dirty water that you're putting your feet in is cross-contamination. Setting the things that you're using on people's feet on the ground is self-explanatory for cross-contamination. <laughs> This is disgusting, you guys. But I'm not even <laughs> shocked because I've seen worse. I'm not even going to lie. But to do it in front of the customer is crazy. Y'all, I'm not sure what type of lotion this was, but it was definitely water-based. It left my skin so dry. It's like she put no oil on whatsoever. I mean, look at it. Look. Dry. So then, y'all, she takes the brush that she's been cleaning and scrubbing my feet with to clean out the inside of the tub. I know for a fact fact this is done at 98 percent of salons i've seen it before we get in but to see it right here that you're doing it and then you're gonna come back in and wipe and scrub my feet off with that same brush oh girl God. is you fucking serious she's over here rubbing the skin off my damn feet y'all there's no lotion there's no oil just dry feet so this is new to me then she takes a nail file and begins to scrub my feet off with it i've never seen nail that day file. in my life Y'all, I swear to God, every time she went in this drawer, I was so damn scared. Like, what is next? But luckily, she was done, and I asked to go to the bathroom for the last ultimate test. Of course, there was hair on the toilet seat. The sink was disgusting. But here is what I was looking for, y'all. If you go to any back of the nail salon, you will see where they store all of their stuff. The brushes were soaking in water. Y'all, they're supposed to dispose those brushes after every use, and they obviously don't. Disgusting. Oh my god, this was oh, this was so hard to watch. The level of disgust I got from this video can literally make me throw up. But I mean, oh, it was very unsanitary. It was oh my god, all shades of disgusting. If I were this lady, first hand I'm standing up when I see you dip that brush into where my feet are and then bringing it out again to do something. I'm standing up. I'm like no. There's nothing that will make me endure something that will be hazardous to my health. And the sad fact that she endured through all this so we can see what this new salon looks like. But meh. honestly, I have to give it to her for just even condoning it. But yes, let's get right into the next video. Today was the first time I spoke about the nail salon because... <sighs> okay, ignore me crying. I hope I'm getting my period soon, but I genuinely like cannot stand being a girl right now. So I wanted a light yellow, I so okay? I went already. in for a light yellow. I'm searching through things. I should took a picture of what they had the yellow listed as. And I pick out a color and he brings it over and I got dip and I'm looking at the color and I'm like, that looks pretty orange. Okay. I, like that looks orange. So I tell him, I'm like, Hey, like this is the color I want right here, like pointing to it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the numbers lines up. He shows me the numbers lines up. And I'm like, okay, again, it's also labeled salmon. And I'm like, are you sure it is this color that's pictured right here? Cause this is the color I want. Like I want a light yellow. <coughs> he's like, yeah, it'll look fine. He's doing my nails. He finishes my nails. I can't even show you. They're orange. They are lit. Like, the, pic the camera's not doing them just. Do you see that? They're orange. They're literally light orange. They look like a creamsicle color. And I was like, you're joking. I literally said I wanted them yellow. So he finishes, and I get up, and I, I'm, like, searching through the colors because he took away the 
little thing that has all the colors on them. So I finished my nails and I'm like searching through the colors to find them because I'm like, this, like, that is not the fucking color I asked for. And one thing is, I'm done spending money on a service if it does not look good. Can we start normalizing oh, sure. tipping people the amount they deserve to be tipped? Because my family's always like, yes, you tip good, tip good, tip good. But if you don't fucking do good, I'm not tipping you good. Sorry, but your service doesn't just include the tip unless you do the average job. I'm not saying you should do amazing, but just do average and bare minimum and I'll give you 18%. But if you can't do that for me, I'm not giving you 18%. So wow. I literally look at the colors and they're like, is everything okay? Because this is like after it's done. They're like, is everything okay? And I'm like, um, no, this is not the color I asked for. I, I was nice about it, but because I was trying not to lose my mind the whole time he was doing with my nails, because I'm like, this is not, I kept thinking, because with dip, you have to file it down and then do a clear coat at the end, so I kept thinking maybe it's going to lighten up and look yellow at the end, so I was trusting the process, and the process did not fucking go through. So... I'm like, this is not the color I asked for. I'm like searching through all the things to find it. And I find it and I look at it next to them. I'm like, I'm not crazy. Also, literally bleeding here. Cannot stand when they make me bleed. Anyway, and I'm like, I'm not crazy. And he didn't even do a good fuck. I'm like, I'm not crazy. This is the color I asked for and this is what I got. And they're like, oh, uh, um, oh. Uh, and then like all three workers come over and are looking at it. And I'm like, you fucking see it too. You see that it's not the color I asked for. And they're like, oh, well, like it's labeled salmon. And I said, well, I told him specifically, this is the color I fucking want. And I want it to look like this. I said yellow. I want light yellow. And they're like, oh, well, like we could paint it over. We can change it that color. And I'm like, I just sat here for an hour. You're not doing like, you just went through all this past my nail. I already hate when I have to go under the UV and like the stress it puts on your nail to buffer it off. I'm like, I'm not doing that now. Like I'm literally not doing that. And they're like, oh, well we, we could change the color. I'm like, have, I literally was just like, can you just update your fucking color? Like update your colors because you shouldn't have wrong colors on your thing. You shouldn't have it as showing one color because that is what people are looking at to get the color. And if you know it's wrong, tell the person when they're asking, does it look like this? And then I'm checking out and I'm like so angry because like I did not want this. I gave a tip, but I should have gave way less of a tip than I did because I was pissed the you fuck off. But the lady, like the lady, the guy, not one care in the world. The, the actual nail tech who did my nails did not give a fuck. The lady at the front desk was like trying to be nicer about it. And she was like, oh, if you like come in a week, we'll change the color. No, no, no. My only thing is like getting dip is annoying on your nails. You have to shave it all off and nah, 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 nah. And just the process, like I don't have unlimited hours in my day. I don't want to just come sit in the nail salon for an hour to get the color changed. I'm just so, so pissed off, but I, I had to speak up about it. I had to like argue with them about it because I was like, this is not happening right now. This is a completely fucking different color. She still had to argue with them and ended up paying for my, and she still gave it tip. She's so nice. But there's something I want to understand. Is tipping compulsory? But I do feel like tipping should be out of the goodness of your heart. Like if you're too satisfied with the kind of job they render, then maybe you can give a tip. But like I'm hearing now that maybe tipping is compulsory or it's 18% for tip. Come on. Why don't you just put it together in the whole nail money? Because... Then the, the part where they said she should come back after a week to get it done. Trust and believe if I wear her, I will not even pay for that one. I will take it, but I will not pay. Because this you guys correcting your mistake. When, since when did the nail salon get so expensive, y'all? I just went and got my nails done. Now I see why everybody go to, you know, the independent girlies. At because nails. at this Point point... Is. I only want to see somebody that just specializes in doing nails because just for one thing, you know, your design and your shape is going to be right. I went to a nail salon, like a traditional nail salon, and they literally, it, it was just such a horrible experience because she couldn't get the shape right on my nails. They charged me $7 and they said, this is considered a long nail. You got, my nail bed is almost at the top of this because I have the a really shape? long nail. This is not a long nail. And they said anything basically that is not a nub is a long nail so you mean to tell me you're going to charge people extra for having a nail because basically you only want to do the nail bed stop then when you know after i said something about the long nail fee i mean i'm gonna pay it but it's just the fact that it's there i can see if my nails are long my nails are not long then for the tips the tip the base start out at 20 percent, 20 percent, 25 percent, 30 percent and 35 percent were your options to tip where they where they do that at? Because it used to be 10%, 15%, 18%. I mean, and if you feeling real, real fresh, there was a 20% on there. But you mean to tell me now we're starting out at 20% is the base? Stop. 
stop it i was already on the fence about going to get my nails done because i feel like first of all i never like the time it takes to sit in there and get your nails and get a pedicure done but then you mean to tell me the base of the services that i had this is just a regular it's dip y'all see the length it, the shape ain't right this is supposed to be a pointy almond it's not given that it's very much given like circle or like circular shape to me it's giving um, something it's very i don't even much know I asked her to make it like a little thinner. It, it's, just, it's not giving what it needs to give. Just that's just not that. So my nails were about, I want to say they were like 52 and my pedicure was like 55 or vice versa. So the that's the service. And then you want to charge me, a, then you want me to put a 35% tip on there. And I get it. You can change it and tip whatever you want to tip. But the fact that you have that listed as an option, 20%, 25, 30, 35, you're out of your mind. This is a rip off. The nail industry is a complete ripoff now. And I know because of COVID and inflation, all prices are up. But that, come on. that's You are playing games with people and their money. You are playing in their face. So from here on out, I will be doing joining the press-on girlies, getting my press-ons, or I will just be painting my natural nails at home. Because that amount of money to spend on a product that you don't even like, I can't. Okay. Let me just fix that. I am going to go get my nails done for my bridal shower and for my wedding. But I'm going to go to a place that specializes in design and shapes like the independent nail girlies. Or even if one, if I find one of them, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to a tradition like the regular nail salon because, no, I, I can't waste my money like that. That's crazy. It's almost becoming a trend for the traditional nail salon to give you total opposites of what you have asked for. And it seems starting from 20 to 25-30%. What's going on? Why are they making it like a thing? I literally thought tips were voluntary. Like you decide to give tips when you feel like. I didn't know it's been added into the price list. You should take two lessons from this video. One, if the chair is empty, do not sit in it. And two, parents don't stop being parents after you turn 18. So I was going to California um, last summer and I figured, hey, why not get my nails done at this one place that I really wound up liking? Because when I went to vacation in Canada, I got my nails done at this particular nail salon by this really talented nail tech. And he gave me a set of nails that looked like this. These aren't my hands, but I don't have a picture of my actual nails. And I've been getting acrylic sets since I was about 17. And these, these, and these kinds of nails and the quality is what I'm used to. Not to mention it's what I'm paying for. So when I go to the same nail salon that I got my nails done to go to Canada, I didn't think it was going to be a problem. So I walk in and I ask, who can do an acrylic set? And this man sits me down with this lady whose chair has been empty for Lord knows how long. And I ask her if she can do this particular style of nail. And she says, yes, I can do this particular style of nail. And she gets started and whatever and... I'm not a nail tech, but I've gotten my nails done enough times to know what the process is supposed to look like, especially when you're getting a particular shape. And the last time I got lipstick nails done, you are supposed to take a stiletto acrylic nail and like glue it on and then like take nail scissors and cut it to the shape in whatever direction the client asks for. She takes like square, t like these types of nails and glues them on. The process is completely rushed by the way, but you know, that's her process. And she starts shaving them down like shaving them down and they start looking really gross and nasty so i'm like you know what um i keep asking her to make changes she it keeps looking more and more gross so i'm like you know what i just want square nails i just want square short square nails but that exact same style i showed you yo when i show you what these nails when she shows me these crunchy ass falling off the bone ass sloppy ass nails and charges me 80 dollars for them Mind you, up to that point, this has been my most expensive set, and this cost roughly $60 to $65. Shape designs and all. And when I said $80, are you sure? She said, yes, $80, $80, $80. Like, getting mad at me for them disgusting ass nails. So I pay for them. I get back into the car. She's my mom big. sees them. She's like, oh, hell no. She walks back into the store and says, I demand to speak to the person who did my daughter's nails. This is disgusting. I want somebody else to do these nails. You're not touching her hands ever again. And she's going to get comped for it. Mind you, I'm sitting in the corner like a child, but she gets the job done and I get my new nail. Buy a new person. Oh, right away. And this is what they wind up looking like. And the owner winds up knocking off $20 off the price, which $60 for this set is still pretty pricey to me. But 
I just I'm annoyed I go home and these nails look fairly decent for the function I get them for third lesson is to don't let people disrespect you because when given the opportunity they will see them Lugu, but shout out to her mama she was definitely a mama anytime any day bring it on your mom will defend you no matter what shout out to all the mothers out there believe me when mr decided first time i get my nails done from summer i was so excited but boy mm-mm me na bati wolo. Me shi know from me see the nails here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Me never know so then sit in the club. I'm in a 2023. But like, can you can you add the acrylic without the nail? Mm hmm They put the acrylic over. I know. Yeah, put the gel, you see? Oh. The lady I'm sorry, just wiped the acrylic this, over the nails she put on my foot. You're gonna file it now? Yeah, file with it clean and put yeah. the gel for top. Shiny. Mm -hmm. Special, girl. That moment I feel like for cry. I feel like I forget about the chair and run, run, run. Shensi a song, run, run, run to backside. I'm gonna shout out because I run. I have to put my foot in spice. It's gonna hurt my foot. I was a nice soul because me actually peer the lead. Me just couldn't do it. Me just have a peer. Oh my gosh. Where? Right there. This your car, you receive, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Like for part two. Like for part two. If you really want to see the nail turn out, like for part two because that one is really serious. I'm really invested, so I'm going to check out the part two. But let's just hold on. Let's just hold on. Why do this nail tech feel like they've done a good job? And you know when it's time to pay, it's like, yeah, sign here. Yeah, is this price? Yes, is this? Yeah. The confidence is crazy. But let's check out the part. So I really want to see how this nail turned out. I'm literally crying over my nails right now. Because they're so ugly. <laughs> oh my god, okay. No, this is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels. And this is what I got! <laughs> they really did this girl dirty. I don't know how to even express dirty in a very annoying way. That's what they did to this young lady. How much do you think these French tip set is for? Like, how much do you, how much would you pay for it? Please let me know. Because the fact that I it's just like went to a nail tech that's, first of all, not even licensed. Second of all, works from her house. So she shouldn't even be up charging me because it's not like she's paying for a suite okay the second of all they be so standoffish they be not they don't even be friendly okay and then on top of that i hate it when they answer facetime calls or when they're on the phone and it's out loud and like i can hear it i don't want i really don't want to hear your whole conversation and not only is it awkward but it's really unprofessional okay because please tell me why i was getting my nails done with this girl right and this literally says like i'm gonna go walk to the to the gas station like do you want to come with me Which we're not friends like and on top of that i'm paying you over a hundred dollars for this set like what the fuck and like i get it i know people get hungry but babe like i've been sitting in this chair for about three hours and now you want to take a break to eat you don't think i'm hungry you don't think i you think i want to be here too what the fuck like not even friendly prices are bogus not even certified okay it's always a price and they're rude as fuck like they don't care about your time they don't care about where you gotta go it's always a price for me because i can never understand why nails have gotten so expensive these days <laughs> what what's that these i went to the nail salon to get my nails up to feel better <laughs> why are you so thick <laughs> This is bad to look at. Ooh, it's as thick as a table knife. It's so thick. I'm literally never. Honestly, I feel so bad for her. Like you have to deal with the unsatisfaction from your nail, and then you have to deal with the cuts on your skin. Baiting, doing anything that has to do with water is going to be a hassle for her till the wounds heal. And your fingers are very, very important. You need them to do set a lot basically everything if i'm not mistaken so i honestly feel bad for this young lady upon that she had to still pay 
for this like there should just be a rule like if it's bad then no payments guys i am so upset look at how they Why left my me? nails look at the french this look is, what's it doesn't even combine and then the color i got pink this is like cherry red transparent like what oh i'm so mad i want to cry look at the shape of this now like i'm not even being ungrateful know, this is just one what? hand this look at the shape bad. look at it it's not even it's coffee bigger than her nail. like look at the french it doesn't even <sighs> gel now well. look at this one look how bad like why are my why are my nails so crooked they look that's look at crooked. the shape of this one it is so off the french is not even frenching like i am not being ungrateful but look at this look at this there's a whole chunk of acrylic and nail missing there Oh my god. Look at my thumb. I like, like how she's analyzing like all what her freedom is this? Nails. Oh this is god. bad. No, this is bad. They really did you death. So this is I feel sorry for you. This is so bad. Um, I'm literally about to cry over the experience I just had at the nail salon. So I went to this salon I always go to and Every time I've made an appointment with someone, they give me someone different than who I made an appointment with. And so I was like, this time I'm not even going to try to make an appointment. I'll just get whoever because they normally do a great job. And I got this man and he was so sweet, so sweet, but he's doing my nails and I can just tell. Like, you know when you just know it's like this is going to come out horrible. So I left the salon and got outside. They looked horrible. They're goopy the shape is so bad like it literally looks like i diy'd it myself and so i'm like you know what i'm gonna go inside and tell them that i don't like it so i go inside it's so awkward and painful obviously and i tell him i don't like it and i was telling the owner too and i was hoping that she would fix it because at this point i noticed that it was just like he wasn't good at nails you know and so the no he fixes it and he's like apologizing and saying he's sorry and he's just so so nice but still like they were just not looking good and so then i leave i get back into my car you told me my nails were dry right i got dip nails i touch my purse smudged just completely smudged like four of them right. are just ruined and so then i go back inside it inside again like at this point it's just so painfully awkward and he fixes them again and again he's just so nice but i still just hate them and i just like want to cry because that was like seventy dollars of a tip, and I I'm gonna hit my nails now, and I don't want anyone to say they look fine because they don't. Like if you were to see them close up, like the cuticles are just super messed up. Like it's just like I don't want to pay money for something that I just kind of like, and that was just so horrible. I was in the nail salon for over two hours, over two hours. Like I'm just like I need to go do some yoga or something sorry i hate when the nail starts smudging like why what did you do wrong why are they not dry okay this is not gonna be your normal content so if you don't want to hear about my fingernails getting ripped off you can just scroll this isn't lifting stuff um so yeah anyways i've been going through some things like i've been a little depressed recently i haven't been able to eat i haven't been able to look forward to going to the gym anything right the one thing i was looking forward to the one singular thing was getting my nails done, right? I get in there. I had a set on before this. This lady goes, I need to remove your set. Sorry, we can't do a fill. We have to start from absolute scratch. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. I don't mind. Like, it's going to be double what I wanted to spend, but that's not a big deal. Um, Doesn't bother to soak my nails in acetone or anything. She just takes another tip, another fake nail, and starts fucking popping these big in the midst of popping these oh. off, you know what happens? You know what happens? Half of my fingernails get ripped off. So I'm sitting there in the nail salon. This lady has a death grip on my hands, right? My fingertips, they're all bleeding. 
all over the place. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm bawling. I'm crying my eyes out because I'm having an awful week. Nothing is going around. I can't even go pay somebody to do my nails and feel good about myself. Anyway, she's sitting there and then she's dabbing my fingertips with alcohol, right? Glues over the top of my skin so she can put tips on them so I can get these. You see how stubby these are? Granted, I told her I wanted them short, but Anyway, so also, if you don't know by now, I bartend. And I got this set right before I went to bartend that evening. And you know what happens when you bartend? You stick your fingers in alcohol the entire night. So I was just dipping my fingers in alcohol and bleach and who knows what else. And it's burning, throbbing, all of the above. Awful experience. I had a mental breakdown. Zero out of ten would never do again. Or go back to that nail salon. And I know there's going to be somebody that's going to comment and be like, oh my gosh, you just gotten up and walked out. No, because at this point, I had mutilated fingertips. I was not just going to walk out of that salon without getting a set done with just getting all my fingernails ripped off. Was not going to happen. I had already gone through most of the pain. Just no. No. Just finish it up. Yeah, I honestly understand how she feels. And we can go on and on, but I don't want this video to be too lengthy. I just feel like Mason listens to better because there's so many complaints so many complaints about them out there and it's just mind-blowing like don't you guys learn don't you guys want to do better why do you guys always have to make your clients angry upset and unsatisfied at the end of the day it's so annoying i also have my own fair share of this bad experience trust and believe there's a time i got my nails done and this guy assured me he does nails he's good he's the one doing the nails these da, 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 da. and i was like okay show me a picture of your walk or something and then he was like his phone is down he's charging it and i was in a hurry i just bought the story trust and believe i was very very unsatisfied in his presence i took them out this is he didn't even put acrylic on it just put like plain nail i took them out and i left i did not pay i'm that kind of person because they're not going to lie to me and expect me to pay you because at the end of the day he didn't even have a phone that had you know the pictures in it he just had like a small phone that didn't have camera so what was he trying to do what was it? he was literally trying to lie to me but i mean you can't do that to me there's no way you can do that to me because i didn't get that money to just waste it on unsatisfied news you know i'm sorry but yes please ladies learn how to speak out for yourself when you do not like a service done to you because you're the one paying and you know where you got that money from you know how you got that money and please just go ahead and complain if you don't like something please yes i've come to the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to give the video a fat thumbs up if you are not subscribed consider subscribing and i'll see you all in my next video bye